Hey, MLF Pro Brent Chapman here. I want to take a minute to show you guys one of the, the hottest techniques that, that's been going on this year. It's one that I've grown very fond of, and uh, if it's not one of your top, uh, top techniques you've got rigged up right now, you need to have it, and you need to become pretty proficient with it, and that's a wacky worm. Uh, whacking wor wacky worming is exactly that. It's a wacky rig. It looks goofy, doesn't seem normal. It's not what we're used to, you know, the, the Texas rigging or, or drop shot and you know, something where, where the thing looks a little more natural. This, you're actually putting the hook in the middle of the bait, but when it hits the water and it's actually falling through the water column, it looks real, real realistic. And then as you shake it or work it through the water, it has a lot of action. And that's the key to this thing. But I wanna go through the whole setup with you here. I've got a Cast King Speed Demon Pro shaky head rod. This rod's got the right tip action, but the backbone to do what I need to do when those fish bite in that heavy cover. I've got this on a Cast King Speed Demon spinning reel. This is a seven to one gear ratio reel, which is, which is really important when I'm you know, in between uh, swimming the bait or actually working the bait. So if I skip this bait in there and I work it for three or four feet and I wanna make another cast, this high speed reel, I can reel it up real quick and I'm not wasting time there and make another cast. Or if a fish bites it and it's swimming towards me, I can reel up that slack, set the hook and get it in very quickly. This, what I've got it on is I've got it on 20 pound Cast King, uh, Cast Pro braid here. And then, uh, you know, big part of that too is I've got it uh, teamed up here with, uh, this is uh, 14 pound Gamma Fluorocarbon line, got a little FG knot there. And uh, then we've got the, the, the setup here. And a big part of wacky worming is having the right hook. And uh, it's been pretty neat. You know, I've been with uh, Eagle Claw Trocar my entire career. I've been with Trocar from day one and watched the inception of how that company's come about. And they're listening to us pros. And they developed this hook uh, last year and it's uh, called the finesse hook. And they have a weedless finesse hook and a finesse hook. Uh, this one on this bait ha happens to be uh, a weedless version. Uh, obviously for, for thicker cover, and then they have just the finesse hook that's for uh, more open water. And, uh, you know, these things work really, really well. They come in a variety of sizes, and, uh, you know, you, you basically match the size with the bait that you're using. Uh, I've got a five-inch stick worm here. I've got the little rubber O-ring, which, you know, this little tool is very, very important for, uh, for doing it. You, you can put the O-ring in there, and that just helps yourself not go through so many bait. You know, like I said, the, the hooks come in a variety of sizes. I prefer the weedless one because if I'm fishing around any cover, you know, that little weed guard helps uh, get it through the places where uh, you might get hung up at. But uh, another big part of this hook is it's got the Pro V bend to it. And as you can see, it has a little tiny notch there. And I found it holds that right there on that O-ring really, really well. But what it was also designed to do is when you set the hook on the fish, that fish's mouth, that Pro V bend actually penetrates through there and it will hold the fish and uh, hopefully you won't lose as many fish as that way as well. But I know with that, that trocar point on there, you're gonna get a good hook set, you're gonna hook those fish and put a lot of fish in the boat because of, because of that setup right there. A, a five inch stick worm is my go-to, a four inch sometimes or even a six inch, but you, know, you can use any kind of straight tail worm for wacky worming. But you know, if it's a technique you haven't used, you need to put it in your tackle box and you need to give it a try.